Oh, there it is. There's there. That's that's fish right there. So something's chasing it. So here we go. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So first things first. First thing I gotta do, get my bread bag out, get my bamboo pole, get some bait. Bluegill is what I'll be using today to catch big bass under the balloon. So I'm gonna start off, start a little feeding frenzy, get them, get the fish pulled up, get them in the area, start catching bait. All right, good. They're coming up now. Get a really, really little hook. Throw it in. Let's see what's going on down there. All right. That didn't take long. This guy's a little bit bigger than what I want, but he's going to work perfect for the fish that are out here. So for a quick thing here, when I'm catching these fish, I got these little cheap uh, nets right here. They're about four inches long. So you can kind of see that's the fish, right? So here's the fish, here's the net, not too big. So I'll go this big or, you know, about three to four inches. And that's gonna be perfect to get at these uh, bass that are out here under the water. So catch a few more, let's see what I can get. Here they come. Oh, there's a good one. Oh man. Now this is perfect size right here. The other one I got was a little bigger. This is what I'm talking about. So he swallowed the hook. Alright, so this is the size that I'm looking for. The other first one was a little bit bigger. This one like perfect come on there we go all right so size I'm looking for about three to four inches so here's the size comparison of this guy so good good size right there that's the net uh, I got a little photo I can show you guys I'm gonna be throwing a size number six treble and this is gonna fit perfect with that uh, hook and this bait so we'll get about two more of these guys and I'll be good Okay, so I got the bait. I got a nice big one. I got a lot of middle one, uh, mid-sized ones. I got a small one. I'll go with the mid ones first. If I have to downsize to the small, you know, gotta get a bite, right? So they don't always want big baits, but big baits will get big fish. So just kinda let the fish see what, uh, you know, let them tell you what they want. Gotta get the balloon on. So a little bit bigger than a golf ball, just a regular old knot here. I'm gonna take the line, I'm gonna go about two feet up, pinch that in between my fingers right here. I'm just gonna tie a single overhand knot, go right through, get that tied on. That's it. I'll wet that just a touch, pull it down tight. There we go, now I got my balloon float. That's the same rig that I did in my other video, so same thing. Just that one I was using steel leaders. There's a lot of pike out in the water. And I was using a bait probably about twice the size of what I'll be using today. So let's get the bait on. So the net makes it real easy. I was out last night. The bait I was using probably about an extra inch and a half bigger than this one. So I'm using the number six red round bend treble. Get it right up in that shoulder. Make sure you don't hit its spine. You don't want to kill the fish. 
right up in the front. So that's it right there, real easy. That's it, live bait fishing. So cast it out. The trick is here, it's fairly open water. The bass are gonna be cruising up and down the bank about 20, 30, 40 feet from the shoreline and they're just going up and down. There's not a lot of structure, so they're just gonna be kind of free roaming up and down here. I'm gonna cast out, we'll see what I can get. There it is, that's the fish. Ah. Okay, fish is out there. Fix this hook. There it is, got him. So, got the fish, took it down, he's out there. Oh yeah, bass in the bucket right there. So, he took my bait, missed him, threw it right back out, still there, nailed him. So he got him right in the side. Nice fish, good length to him. Probably see if I can catch a couple more out there. This one's, this looks stuck in there pretty good, so. Come on, hook. All right, unhooked, fine, Whew. double hook, hooked them back. So, nice fish, that's balloon fishing right there. So, let's see if I can get another one. Catch some fish. Oh yeah. So this is balloon fishing. Uh, one last thing I want to add, it's getting dark out here. I'm going to continue fishing as long as I can. But So let's say I got a cast out there. The balloon's sitting still. One thing I like to do here is get the, pick up all my slack and just pop that balloon. I'm going to pop that balloon, going to get some attention, going to help try and bring in some big fish. So if you got a stagnant bait, it's not doing anything, give it a little pop. It'll pick up a little action, you'll get some fish zoned in on it. So, take some of these tips and tactics, go get you some balloons, get out there on the water, have fun fishing. Thanks for watching, guys.